Yeah. yeah. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I'm a mom who loves home decor thrifting and a good DIY project. Today we are finally making over our kitchen nook. You guys saw this space in my empty house tour. It's this really small little corner spot in our kitchen. It has these great windows, but the nook kind of feels a little useless, like we can't really use it for anything. Well, I had this idea to turn it into a little Eden kitchen nook. We're talking like a mini <laughs> Eden kitchen nook because it really is a small space. I was inspired by these Pinterest photos of kind of like French bistro style little marble tables and little nooks with Bentwood chairs. And yeah, so that was kind of the vibe I was hoping to bring into our home with this kitchen nook. But before I get ahead of myself, if you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. Give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would love for you guys to join my little Emily Faith family. We are doing this new rental made home series. You guys seem to be loving it. Okay, let's just dive right in to making over this nook. The first thing we did in this space was actually paint. Our kitchen was kind of a hodgepodge of paint. The baseboards in this room were already painted, but the window frame wasn't. The window frame over by the kitchen sink is painted white. So we basically just wanted to make things a little bit more uniform in this space. We went ahead and painted the trim around the window white. It made a huge difference in brightening up these windows and just this whole space. And then we also went ahead and gave the walls a fresh coat of white paint. Next, it's time to build this corner bench. We have these two scrap wood pieces. The previous person who lived here had these big shelves up, or after they took the shelves down, they just left this wood. So we were using it, we cut it down to size, we primed this one because it had a stain on it, and this was just a scrap piece, so we didn't need to prime this one, but we used a stain blocker, and we are going to paint them white same white as the wall. The plan is one seat bench all the way across here and then one just to the end of this windowsill. It's gonna look so cute. Just a little dining nook right here. We made sure that this bench seat was mega mega secure. We probably did a little overkill <laughs> with how many brackets we used. My husband actually went back and reinforced it with some extra pieces of wood underneath. I don't really understand how he did it all, but trust me, this thing is secure. Once we had this corner bench in place, we went in and painted it all white. I really wanted to keep it minimal since it is such a tiny corner. I didn't really want this to be like a pop with the bench. So we painted it all white, really seamless. Your eye doesn't kind of catch on the bench, if that makes sense. The bench is all built, it's in place. Now it's time to work on this marble table. A while back, I grabbed this marble round top off of Facebook Marketplace. It didn't have any legs. I was so excited when I found this top. It was really affordable. I think it was like 15 or 20 bucks. I knew that this would be the cutest little tabletop, my French bistro inspired table idea, but I needed to find a leg base. I was searching and searching marketplace and truthfully I wanted to find like a gorgeous cast iron base that, you know, would really just bring it, bring this design home, but I couldn't find any. And I did find some wood bases, but we would really need like a hefty base. And this is a pretty small round top. So I knew I needed to go with something that was metal. I think that if I would have found a cute little wooden base, this table would just fall over. It wouldn't be safe with my kids. This marble top is real marble and it is heavy. So we needed a base that would support it. I found this affordable $15 metal base off of Marketplace. We decided to spray paint it black. Truth be told, I still don't necessarily love this metal base with the top. Maybe because it's not like my full vision come to life, but you know what? We're making it work. They actually have the exact table that I would love for this space at World Market. 
but it's like $200 so I keep reminding myself I made this table for like less than 50 bucks and that's a win so <laughs> I'm trying not to go and just splurge on the dream table. The next step in this table process was figuring out how to get this marble top attached to this metal base. So what we decided to do was cut a piece of wood that could attach to the metal base because it has screws. We cut this piece of wood down to size, screwed the metal base into this piece of wood, then used some E6000. I really wasn't sure the best glue to use, but we went with E6000, put it all on, and then put the marble top on it and let it cure overnight with like a heavy weight and it is sticking we have actually been using this table for a couple weeks and have had no issues it hasn't detached at all you can even like lift it by the top and it's still stuck on so i love this that in the future if i ever want to switch out the legs now this marble top has this wood piece attached to it so we could drill into this wood piece and I could DIY this another way in the future if I needed or wanted to. Our walls are painted, our bench seat is made, our table is made. The last kind of finishing touch to complete this space is switching out our blinds. We have, you know, just those renter friendly white pull down blinds. And honestly, it was kind of sketching us out because there's these long cords and our kids kept playing with the cords and we're constantly every day had to like put them way up high <laughs> for obvious safety reasons. Probably not safe for them to be playing with cords. Our other blinds, they're too high up, they can't reach them, but because of this bench seat, they could reach all these cords. And we really just wanted to switch them out. So I actually ended up getting an email from a company called Smart Wings. They make custom roller shades, woven wood shades, and zebra shades. They're also all like electronic, so you can use the remote to make them go up and down. And you guys, they are so awesome. Maybe because we've always just had old school blinds, but it is actually so fun. We just press this little button and the blinds go up and down. My husband installed these and said they were super, super easy to install. Basically, you just screw in a bracket and then there's just this little like nut that you thread on. I don't know, he did it, but he told me it was really easy. He was very impressed by how simple and seamless these blinds were to install and that the remote that comes with it was already all programmed. So it was so, so simple and easy to use. It comes with a charging cord. We only just recently got them. So I'm kind of wondering how often we'll have to charge them. I really don't think it'll be very often. I mean, it can't use that much power. It's just like once a day up and down. For the shades, I picked these woven wood shades. Now for basically all of their shades, you can choose like blackout options, but for the kitchen, I really wanted to still let that light through. So I didn't choose any like lining or backing behind these because yeah, it's the kitchen. I feel like the kitchen, even if you need some privacy, you should still kind of let that light in. And I love these. I feel like these were actually kind of the missing piece to my little nook and kitchen design. We have a lot of stark white, the marble with the black, and bringing in these woven shades added in this warmth that this nook was lacking. They also kind of really complement can't really see, but they complement the coffee bar that's like right next to the nook in the sense that they're both kind of like wood, natural wicker colors. So I love that these blinds just bring in the warmth that we needed. To finish off this space, on the other side of the table, we have a bentwood chair. We have an extra bentwood chair. So that's going over in this space and it's so perfect. It just brings in that French bistro look. That was originally where I got the inspo for having these bentwood chairs. So truly having it in this kitchen was the dream and the goal. And I love it in this space. I think it's time to go make my boys a snack and reveal this nook to you.
I'm so in love with how this nook turned out. It's so cute. I feel like we've kept it minimal to not overwhelm the space. You have to remember, we have a whole kitchen going on behind it, a coffee bar here. So keeping this tiny little nook minimal just makes sense. And it is so cute. I really love it. It's so practical. It's been working so great having my kids be able to eat lunch or breakfast or snacks in here whenever we're not wanting to fully sit down at the big table, especially if I'm cooking or in the process of doing something in the kitchen. It's nice to have the boys close. So happy with how this turned out. And thank you so much Smart Wings for gifting us these blinds. You guys, I am gonna link them down in the description box. You have to go check them out. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you can subscribe for more of my everyday life. Follow me on Instagram at emilyface22. Share this video with someone else who might enjoy it. That would help out my channel a ton. Comment down below, let me know what was your favorite part of this nook design. I think that's everything. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.